Welcome to Deanna Reads. My name is Deanna and I read. I have a book haul for you today, mostly from the library. There's quite a bit, so let's get started. Alright, so actually the first book that I'm going to show you is not from the library. It's probably my only purchased book that I have and that is the Temptation of the Night Jasmine, and that is by Lauren Willig. It is a book I've already read. I got it at Half Price Book. It was in the clearance section for a dollar, and I don't have it, so I really couldn't pass it up. It's in the the History of the Pink Carnation series. I really enjoy that series, so I picked that up book that I have already read from my book haul is 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. It is about a girl who committed suicide and recorded tapes before that, um, the reasons why she committed suicide. Very emotional book. Tempest Rising by Tracy Debs. It is about mermaids. It's about a teenage girl who is a mermaid. She doesn't find out suddenly that she's a mermaid. She's always known. I'm currently reading this book and I am really enjoying it so I will probably be reviewing it here. Million Dollar Baby by Amy Patricia Mead. It's the first book in the Marjorie McClellan mystery series. It's set in the 1930s. It's set in that time period. I picked it up because I'm just kind of interested in more period mystery pieces. And along those lines I picked up Maisie D Dobbs, Maisie Dobbs, it's the first book in the Maisie Dobbs series and it's kind of the same as Million Dollar Baby, another period mystery piece. Next book I've been really excited to read this, it is called Wither, it's by Lauren Stefano. it's a dystopian novel set in a world where Males all die by age 25, and females die by age 19 or something. Oh, 20. So, it's set in that world. I've heard lots of really good things about it, so I'm excited to read that. Clarity by Kim Harrington. And it's... I'm not really... I don't really remember what this was about, but I remember it sounded interesting. The girl's a psychic, her brother is a medium, and her mother is a telepath, so should be pretty interesting. The next book I've picked up is Ruby Red by Kirsten Gear. It is an international bestseller. It was just released in the United States. I believe it's by a German author, and it's about a time it's about time traveling it sounded really good I'm pretty excited to read it next book is unearthly by Cynthia hand and it's about angels it's a teen angel book so should be fun this book I'm pretty excited I've been invested in this series. It's um, A Natural Issue by Mercedes Lackey and it is an Elemental Masters book. This series is so good. They're fairy tale retellings. They're all based in this world where there are, I think there's four elements that um, people can communicate with and control and have magical abilities. Air, water, earth, and fire. There's the Serpent Shadow, The Gates of Sleep, Phoenix and Ashes, The Wizard of London, Reserve for the Cat, and Unnatural Issue, which is this one. Um, the Serpent Shadow is Snow White, The Gates of Sleep is Sleeping Beauty, Phoenix and Ashes is Cinderella, The Wizard of London, I believe, is The Snow Queen, and Reserve for the Cat, I'm not really sure. I think maybe Puss in Boots. And this one, and Natural Issue, I'm not sure what fairy tale specifically that it deals with. It's about a mother, father, daughter, and the mother's died, and the father is trying, like, gonna sacrifice his daughter, or use his daughter as a vessel for 
the mother's soul. Yeah, something like that. Should be interesting. I'm excited. I've loved all her books so far in this series. Dangerous to Know by Tasha Alexander. And that is the latest or the next book for me in the Emily Gray series. That's not her name. In the Lady Emily series. So I am I'm excited to read that, but it'll probably be a bit till I get to it. The next, I actually have started reading a series on my Kobo. Long time no see. I've just read the first book and the Suki Stackhouse series, the series True Blood is based off of. I wasn't really sure if I was going to like the series, but it was actually, the first book was really good. I was surprised. So I do, I like, uh, I just don't like, what's that lady's, Laurel K. Hamilton's writing style in that? I don't know. Just not with Anita Blake. Maybe just because I don't really like Anita Blake the character that much. I really enjoy her Meredith Grey series. So I really enjoyed the Suki Stackhouse and I'm super excited that my library has all the ebooks online for me to download onto my Kobo because I do really miss reading books on my Kobo. I've downloaded the first book and the second book. First book in that series is Dead Until Dark. And the next book in this series is Living Dead in Dallas. So those are all the books that I have to read. Hopefully I'll get some reviews up for y'all. I obviously have been reading a lot. <laughs> and I plan to do a lot more reading. So yeah, thanks for watching. Keep reading.